It sure is easy to fill up a smartphone with photos and videos. If you want to archive your photos to use later, make it a habit to get them off your phone. It will not only free up space, but you can store them safely for future viewing. There are a few ways to transfer photos from your Android phone to your computer, and they're all easy, so take your pick and start shooting. Google Drive's backup service is by far the simplest method for both backing up your photos and subsequently getting them off your Android phone. The service is standard on almost all Android phones and works quietly in the background, uploading your files to your Google Drive for easy access from other devices. Enabling Google Drive's backup options is simple. In the app, press the menu button or icon, then open the settings menu. In this menu, you can set the auto backup to be on or off, as well as change the settings that correspond to it. To access and download your synced photos, just open your Google Drive. Your photos are stored in a private folder labeled Google Photos. Open that folder and you can browse and download your photos directly to your desktop. If you don't want to enable syncing, you can also upload individual files from your phone to your drive. Open up your phone's photo gallery, open a picture, then tap the share button. From there, you will be able to select from multiple sharing options. Tap the Google Drive icon and the files will be uploaded. Google Photos works similarly to Google Drive. In fact, the user interface and experience is nearly identical. Of course, Google Photos is strictly for photos and videos, while Google Drive handles all types of files. But Google Photos offers useful tools such as light editing and sharing, grouping photos and videos into collections, and smart searching using machine learning. If your utmost concern is backing up images, then Google Photos might be the better solution. It's free and storage is unlimited. Google Photos is simple to set up and use. Once you connect it to your Google ID, the app will upload any new content automatically. Make sure you set Google Photos to only sync when your phone is on a Wi-Fi network. In the Settings option, under the drop-down menu on the top, otherwise it'll hit against your cellular data plan. Unless you actively share your photos and videos, the content is private. Going old school, you can always just plug your phone into your computer using the included USB cable. Android makes it easy to download any and all images by simply dragging them into any desktop app or your file system for safekeeping. If you're using Windows, the USB connection auto prompts will present you with options for managing the device as soon as it's connected. If you're on a Mac, there are a few options, one being the Android File Transfer Program.